Docker became a buzzword when it was released in June of 2014. Companies were adopting Docker at a remarkable rate, and now Docker is a standard tool used by companies large and small. In today's video, we'll take a look at Docker and create a practical example by using it in an Express Node.js application. But first, what is Docker and why do so many companies embrace it? While Docker allows apps to run no matter where they are or what machine they are on, they can be deployed to just about any operating system without any compatibility issues, making your software easy to use, less time to develop, and easier to deploy. Docker runs your application in something called containers. You can think of these as lightweight versions of virtual machines. Each of them have their own operating system, own resources, CPU process, memory, and network resources. To start a container, you need a Docker image. This image is the blueprint for your container. You can get already predefined images from Docker Hub for all different kinds of services. When running large-scale applications, you may want to run and manage many different Docker containers. To help with this, you can use other tools like Kubernetes, Swarm, or Docker Compose. Well, we could just use predefined images. Most of the time, you'll want to build your own. To create images, we'll need to create a Docker file. These files have a special syntax which describe to Docker how to build an image. Now, let's take a look at dockerizing a Node.js application. You can find the full source code on GitHub, or better yet, use your own application and follow along. All I have is a simple Node Express application that sends a response, I'm running inside Docker. Then we expose our app on port 3000 and run our Express application. Now, to run this in a Docker container, we'll need to define a Docker file. To start, every Docker file needs to start with a from keyword which allows us to use other Docker images and build from them. We could start from Ubuntu, which will download a basic image from Docker Hub. We could also specify different tags found on Docker Hub to use a specific version. However, using this image will require us to manually install Node.js. Instead, we can use a Node image, which already has Node, NPM, and Yarn installed, and we can use different versions of Node by using the tag. After that, let's set our current working directory so any subsequent commands will be executed from here. We'll copy over our package.json files, and we can use the run command to install them with npm. The run command simply opens a terminal in the container and executes whatever command you've provided. The reason we're copying over the package.json file before all the other files is Docker creates something called layers. Each command is cached, so they'll only be executed if any of the previous commands change or the underlying files change. Now, if we copy in our source code files, we'll only need to call npm install if the package JSON files change instead of the source files. However, copying all the files over, we'll also copy some files we don't want, like node modules. We'll want to exclude some of these files from Docker image which we can do with a dot docker ignore. The syntax of this file is exactly the same as a git ignore file, and we can specify some files in here we don't want to copy into our docker image. Now, for the last instruction, it is actually running our application, which we can do with cmd keyword. The main purpose of this keyword is to tell docker how to execute our container. When we run our docker container, it creates a process and executes this command. Now we can build our image with docker build and the T flag tags our image. We can think of this simply as a human readable name for the final image, which we can reference to later. After the build is completed, we can run our app by using docker run. We'll also add a hyphen P flag so we can forward the ports from our docker to our operating system. Now, if we go to localhost 3000, we can access our Node.js application. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. I have a growing community over on Discord if you have any questions. Hope to see you in the next one.